Have you wondered how to make a little chat button or perhaps a little bottom sticky bar on your apps? Well, this is the video for you. We're going to learn two ways. And in this first video, the first way, how to make like a little chat icon. And I'm actually going to show you here. Um, I'm going to back out of this uh, giant video and we're going to jump into just a little view about what I would like to show you of what we're going to build. So you see this bottom chat box that's so popular on many of these chat sites. So I've, I've just got a number of them up here that we can all take a look at, right? It's a convention. It's a web convention, right? There's no need to reinvent a way to show off like a chat box, right? But here in this video, you'll learn how to get one of these little sticky things that, uh, that just stays right there at the bottom of the page. So let's turn our attention over to, I've got this kind of pre-made panel set up and we're going to look at this on uh, some mobile and um, a tablet as well, which uh, which can be our proxy for desktop setup. So what we're going to do over here in bubble, uh, in your bubble editing area here on the design tab under containers, go ahead and grab a floating group. So we're going to grab that and we're going to put it on the page, uh, basically kind of near the bottom. So what I want to do is I want to get us to something with 80, 80, and then let's go ahead and kind of drop it into this corner here. That gives us this nice uh, bit of padding against the rest of this uh, page. Okay, uh, one thing to note, when you have a floating group in Bubble, what you want to do is take a look at these options here so, uh, for the uh, the very, uh, the very uh, first options here in the property editor uh, for this floating group element. What we have here is we want to float relative to the bottom. And so you might have different ones where it's, it's floating against the top, like some kind of a, you know, sticky nav bar. And then you also want to make sure that you're floating it to the right for just this in, in this case, that's just the positioning that we're aiming for. So with that set up, uh, we want, and then by default, it's above all elements, which is, you know, basically what you want. You want it to be the topmost thing. You don't want to be hidden underneath something else. Okay. Um, I think fixed width is pretty good. And then notice I've removed the styles. So it's given us the option to add like a flat color. So I'm just going to go here and, you know, maybe add, I don't know, some kind of, some kind of gray. And then, uh, note, I also would like to give it a cool roundness so we could do something like this, which is, you know, more in lines with what this one is, or we could, a lot of these are the, uh, full on circle. Some of them have a bit of a shadow style, which we could work on as well, but we're not going to dive into that for this video for the sake of it. We're just going to give something bigger, uh, for a roundness bigger than what is uh, the actual size of this thing so that we get a full complete circle is for how uh, it kind of works in bubble. I'll just leave the shadow as is kind of the default one and it's good enough for us. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over here and then we're going to grab a uh, an icon. I've just got this one. It's a plugin. It's called Feather Icons. I'm just going to plop it in here. I think it looks cool for the, we're going to search down here for M for message, go square, and then we're going to center that horizontally and center that vertically. And note that uh, the preview on this particular chat icon is not exactly the most helpful thing in the world. Um, just, that's just an, um, a thing about the, the plugin itself. And okay, oh yeah, the icon color, let's go ahead and make that white so we can see it. And you can see here though, we've got this nice little floating thing with a little chat icon. And that's basically it for what I wanted to show off in this video. How do you get one of these things displayed exactly where you want it? I'll show one bonus thing for you in this video where we will now set up something where back in this floating group, we're going to make this element do something when it's clicked on. So when it's clicked on, we can have an action happen. And what I'm going to do is I would probably design like a, a, like a group, like a floating group that is down in this area as well. Uh, perhaps a different floating group or a group focus or something like that. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show a regular old pop-up to finish off this video. So this pop-up is going to be, uh, maybe it would have something that says, uh, you know, type here, type your message, and then perhaps a button that would say send. And then perhaps there would be something that reads out all the messages. That would just be a repeating group. That would be like, who's it from? Is it from the person typing it? Is it from the person that is, um, uh, you know, responding on behalf of the company? And then let's go ahead and just drop an icon here to X this one out. And we'll just put close for that. Okay. And I'm not going to set up uh, much anything else here. I'm going to, what I'm going to do with this is I'll hide this pop up and then uh, in this, when this floating group is clicked, this is the element that I started from just to show you here. 
this start element, uh, element workflow. And then what we want to do is we want to show that pop-up that we just created. So now let's look at this as the final thing for this video. Okay, so we've got this nice chat thing. Somebody clicks on it, boom, we got this pop-up. Uh, the user interface, not the greatest, but basically you get the idea. And so in a future video, we'll work on something different. But for this one, I hope you enjoyed. Like or subscribe if you did, it means a lot. And I'll see you in another video.